Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview. North America wrap from your pals at Privateer FX. Let's get to the charts here. Here's dollar yen. Kind of missed this, which is a bit annoying. I was expecting the dollar to bottom. I'm going to go over to dollar index first. That was up about 0.6% today. I was looking for kind of a tradable bounce in the dollar index uh, sometime this week. And now after this big outside reversal higher, bullish engulfing that we had in dollar index and in the euro dollar on Friday, we've pretty much just continued this dollar strength. And uh, I'm not really on it, unfortunately. Um, take a look at the euro. Here's your big red bearish engulfing bar. Friday, another decent down bar today. No news, no nothing. Hanging around this two thirds fib of the recent swing from 122 handle up to the highs. Remember, we made this new marginal high, uh, 125.55, taking out the old 125.38 high. Um, so, you know, it's, it is a bit frustrating because this one's getting away from me a little bit. Aussie dollar. Bearish bar on Friday, nothing really yesterday on the U.S. holiday. You know, you see, we, we did stop here. Aussie, this area near 80 cents was a 79.90. Turned out to be the high. So, you know, looking for more more fall through for dollar strength. Um, speaking of Aussie dollar, we do have the wage price index coming out during your session. Um <clears throat> Excuse me. Expected plus 0.5 percent. This actually can be a bit of a market mover. Um, the RBA has been concerned about, um, you know, they're they're obviously following inflation closely. They seem to be one of the few central banks that are not talking about um, raising rates or being less accommodative. Um, so maybe they know something that we don't, because I haven't heard anything hawkish out of them in a while. Um, so we will be watching this, the wage price index. This is similar to um, the average hourly earnings out of uh, out of the U.S., which is now the most important number uh, as part of the jobs component number. Not for our payrolls, we're full employment. We don't really look even look at that. We don't really look at the unemployment rate. We just look at average hourly earnings uh, month on month and year on year. So that, that, that macroeconomic uh, <clears throat> indicator, any sort of wage inflation number from any country, pay attention because the wage inflation tends to lag overall CPI and inflation measures. And we're starting to see upticks globally. And this, is going, this, this will mean more aggressive uh, uh, more aggressive action out of the central banks, hiking rates, less accommodative policy. So anyhow, I'm rambling on enough about that. That's like uh, macroeconomics 101 for you right there. Uh, where were we? Cable, not much going on. Um, a little higher on some positive, uh, positive Brexit stuff out, out yesterday. We can see here we're, we're kind of doging. Um, we did make a uh, we did make a low here down at 139.34. I believe that if I look at it, I think it's near the 200-hour moving average. Which yes, here's the 200-hour 39.45 low is 35. So um, again, on the hourly, it looks kind of sideways. Um, if the dollar does continue to strengthen, this, the British pound is going to have a tough time rallying. Um, Let's pop back over to Aussie real quick here. Let's get some levels for this wage number. Um, for me, we've got, here's the hourly. The 200 hour is right in here, 78, 76. We got down to 74. Um, closed yesterday up here at 79.11. Not seeing much really on the hourlies as far as uh, downside entries, maybe under that 200 hour. This area up here looks okay as a break trade if it's a, if it's a strong number, 79.33 to 35. Um, another hourly high here. So I'd say 79.30 to 35 on the top side, and then 
uh, if we can if we can take out today's low uh, 78.75 on the downside for the, again that's for the uh, the event risk coming up in a couple hours time. Dollar yen just been grinding higher with the, the broad dollar strength today. Uh, again, this one's kind of gotten away from me. I had a bid the other night at 105.53. The low was 105.54. And it's rallied almost 200 points. Uh, so that's a bit frustrating. Uh, cryptos, uh, not much going on there. We got Bitcoin getting back up toward the 100 hundred day moving average up at 12,000 but overall kind of quiet I'll leave you with that uh, good luck trading keep an eye out for us on the European Open and we will uh, I'll be speaking to you tomorrow have a good one